welcome back to another video everyone so today's video is update number one after being diagnosed with lupus so the last visit to the rheumatologist was no fun as things did not go as planned I personally went <clears throat> thinking and believing that I would have started treatment I would have gotten the medication to start the treatment process however that was denied and it was denied <clears throat> because of an additional report if you can recall from the last video if you have if, if you have watched the previous video on my diagnosis and experience I stated that I also had to visit an ophthalmologist no that ophthalmologist also requested that I did two tests and I mentioned those two tests in the previous video so if you have not watched that video yet at the end of this video you can go on and watch the video so those two tests were done and a report was made so I took that report to my rheumatologist upon reading that report she lets me know that she cannot go ahead with treatment using HCQ which is the hydrochloroquine method all right and it is one of those treatments that are used for autoimmune diseases as well as other diseases so that was denied I was got smacked I was disappointed you know, I felt so out of it. And I was already out of it because I was experiencing so much discomfort while waiting for, I think, maybe three and a half hours or more before I finally got through. As my appointment was at one o'clock. And I didn't get through until about 4.30. Yeah. So, after that long wait and then to hear that treatment has been denied. It was rough. It was really rough. And so, she started to explain why treatment was denied. So, based on the ophthalmologist report, I... Couple of years ago when I did when I did um when I got my eyes tested I was diagnosed with myopia. No fast forward to a couple of months ago when I did the the test at the ophthalmologist office. All that my regular all that the rheumatologist required was just a baseline test but upon doing the baseline test the ophthalmologist realizes that I needed to do those two additional tests and upon doing the two additional tests he made a report so I took that report to the rheumatologist after reading the report she lets me know that the ophthalmologist had suggested that she use another method to treat my lupus because based on based on what was reported after doing those eye exams it would not be safe for me right now to use the HCQ method I had also opened the report I read it 
and I saw where um, he said that she should use an alternative method. But you know, when I read nothing into what was there, even the word alternative was there. I was like not making full sense of sense of it and so i thought that i was so happy to go because i'm saying to myself yes 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 may i go start my treatment no and i was excited but when she told me that that was out of her control right now with regards to the main method that she wanted i was disappointed but she's not going to put me at risk because if she should use the hcq method it would affect my eyes and so my eyes would deteriorate over a period of time and so for now that method is out of the way don't know what will happen a few years down the line in terms of the hcq method if it's if it if it would still be an option but for now it's not as a result of that two other methods or medication option was mentioned i cannot pronounce them so i won't even state them all I'm saying, two other methods what method was mentioned. And one of the method is so serious. Whereas I have to go back to my regular doctor. And <laughs> my regular doctor have to confirm. That I am not pregnant mm -hmm. and have to write that re report provide evidence for me to take back to the rheumatologist for treatment to start that's one of the method I don't remember a matter of fact I, I, it's not a, I don't remember I can't pronounce them and you know I don't know but me, me can't pronounce them so that that's 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 one method and then there's a another method i don't really remember much of what she said about that other method but what i know is one will do a job more than the other and um the one that i think will do the job more than the other is this one that i'm talking about no all right because as she had explained there are several persons who have been pregnant and having their periods same way even months into it up to all four months and they didn't know that they were pregnant no with this method if i should be pregnant and treatment is started it could cause deformity of that baby and no doctor wants that on their hands or shoulders to carry all right and also with the treatment pregnancy is out of it's not an option especially the first two years of the treatment very important that no eggs are being fertilized and no sperm is going anywhere to fertilize anything so yes this is how serious 
the treatment is and how cautious or how careful I need to be and my rheumatologist need to be so that is the reason why I am currently being denied of treatment because one when she was explaining everything to me is like my brain was going 250 miles per hour yes and i was experiencing some brain fog at the moment so I, I, what i was also thankful for was that my husband was there and what i could not remember he was there to remind me and so the rheumatologist gave us some time to go and do some additional research and to make an informed decision as to the way forward based on the two treatment options that she had um, given to us no when will that treatment start i have no idea i have no idea so for now i am just working with the treatments or medis medications that were given um earlier on so in another video i'll tell you what those um medications are yeah and how they have been working in my body whether positively or negatively so yes so in i just also want to ensure that for persons who are diagnosed with lupus ensure that you have somebody there with you all right if it's your husband your spouse a sister auntie mommy cousin you don't have to do this alone because when you go alone it's so lonely the last time i went before this i went alone and hearing the diagnosis alone it, i felt lonely but when i have my husband there with me i, I feel so comforted you know knowing that he is cheering in on the experience and the journey with me so don't go alone to your appointments if you don't have to if there's somebody there that can be there with you let them be there with you all right so remember to like share comment and most importantly subscribe if you have not yet subscribed thank you and stay tuned for more updates